Hello, it's time for another teacup award. We're going to do the battle of the breakfast teas. We've got an English, an Oops. Irish, and a Scottish in three different brands. So we have Twinings competing with their Irish breakfast, Taylors of Harrogate competing with their Scottish breakfast. I know, I'm over dramatic. I like it that way. Yes. And then finally, we have. Williamson tea, which I don't actually think we've ever reviewed on its own. I don't think we have, but I've been drinking a lot of it. And this is the rich and robust English breakfast. And we're going to see which English... Ugh. Which breakfast? Yeah, which English do we like best? Australian, British, or American? Mm. I think they all have their purpose. Okay, so I'm sticking them in here. Irish at the back. No. I mean, for us, it's the front. Scottish in the middle. Oh, okay. I'm going from the camera. And English. And English at right the here. front. So let's hand me that Williamson tea. The English breakfast says that it is rich and robust from our own Cap Charua farm Cap in Cho, what Kenya. Is Kenya? Yes, it's from Kenya. Williamson tea. I like this. Then with the Scottish breakfast teas, excuse me, from Taylor's, rich oh, and full-bodied black tea. All right, imported ingredients, see if I can find out where from. It's not immediately obvious. But this was created for Scotland's famously soft water. All right, it's awesome tea. Multi depth of flavor balanced by the refreshing brightness of teas from Kenya. So, this is from India and Kenya. Experience the bold, rich taste of this hearty tea. Okay, it's drink four out of four leaves, thick, malty, and full bodied. Kenya, Indonesia, Assam, and China. So, you got four places China. this came from China. China. Yes. China. China. You don't have to cook these very long. Cook them? Uh -huh. I don't think any of us are so, truly in our right minds today. On the Irish one here, where does it say? I don't know. Four minutes. Over 300 years of experience from Twinings. Two minutes or longer. Okay. So none of them take too long, and you don't want to, you don't want to overheat black tea, and you don't want to over brew brew black tea. Do it too long. Brew black. And you don't also want to put too little water in it because any of those will make it strong and bitter. And black tea is already known for its strong bitterness anyway. Silly. Okay, so don't overdo it. I would take these out now. Now, color-wise, they're all red. <laughs> That's so, kind of to be expected. Your English at the front here. Mm-hmm. Dark. We're English at the front. Um, You're Scottish. Scottish in the middle, and at the back we're Irish. Irish. I think very, I have very some similar. Irish in me, don't I? You got some English in you. You got some Scottish in you. You got your Irish in you. you I'm all of these teas. She is so entitled to drink this tea. Yes. She's American. I claim America. Grandma called it Duke's mixture. What? English, Irish, and Scottish is Duke's mixture. I don't know. I guess Dukes had all that in them. I'm not mm. all into uh, British history because I'm American. <laughs> she's I'm she's, American. She's from America. Irish I breakfast gotta. smells multi. Like Irish. Mm. I'm I'm sorry. I don't mean that Irish people smell. Do they smell multi? <laughs> multi. I just. If you're Irish, <laughs> comment down below. How do you smell? <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Multi. <laughs> sweeter. Okay, Scottish is sweeter. The Scottish you, are sweet. Can you tell it's, it's sweeter? And the English are kind of weird. Compare the Irish to the okay. English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't mean this. I just. Sweeter yet. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweetest. Mm -hmm. Medium, less sweet. Interesting. That's okay. So I'm going to start with my Irish breakfast here. I'm going to drink it. She's going to drink it. Ah. 
That's good. I have really gotten used to black tea. Ooh. First time I, I tried black tea, I thought it was too bitter, but maybe I was overcooking it. That was before I bought a kettle that tells you exactly what temperature you're cooking at, so brewing. <laughs> so this is nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's good. Now I shall move on to the Scottish. Scottish. Oh, Ugh, I don't like the English. I'm sorry, I mean the English breakfast. I, I don't really know that many British people. I'm sure you're you one. You never people. get to know I'm talking like that. This one is. Mm. I think I like this Irish one the best so far. Mm. I'm trying to think of how. I like them both, but this one is is sharper, maybe a little more bitter. I always thought the Irish was the strongest one. Yeah. I don't know. That one's the worst. Whoa, bitter, bitter, bitter. <laughs> okay, that's the one that said only do it two minutes. Yeah, this one, the English tea, it said only do it two minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's bitter. <laughs> We're going to add some cream to it because... That's what people do. They add cream and milk and sugar. I don't add sugar to anything. Would you like some? Cream? Please. In your English tea? Please help me. Yeah, now we just cooked it a little too long there. Ooh, kind of made some art. Mellow did a this bit. This is very chunky. Chunky? My cream is chunky. Her cream is chunky. Hmm, which one do I like? They're both good. Oh, that one's out of the question. I'm sorry, English people, but... Don't steep yours as long. Mm -mm. Hmm. I have to say, I think I like the Scottish better. Or sorry, the Irish. It's milder. Yeah. I thought Irish was I... stronger, but this one's milder. Yeah. We're thinking of Darjeeling again. Maybe it just depends on the brand or... I don't know. Maybe our water is famously soft. Who can tell? Our water is famously soft. The Scottish people have famously soft water. It said so on that package. We have hard water. We do have hard water. Apparently the Irish is good for hard water because I think we're going to give it to the Irish. And until we see you again, make sure to make time for tea in a good book.